Hey yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your King, King, and welcome back, guys, to another video. Now, today I'm going to be teaching you something I'm really fond of, and that is retexturing in Gary's Mod Pack 3. Now, I know that a lot of people have been asking me to do packs for them, uh, definitely in Werewolf Gaming, and I know that people want to learn this because it's very complex when you don't know about it when you're an outsider. So I've thought, let's make a video, a basic tutorial, and uh, let's just get straight into this. So, there's some, uh, there's a few tools you, you are going to need, and that is mainly just one, and that is GMAT. So, GMAT is just an EXE, it's just a thing which you go in and it sorts out. We'll explain what it does later, but pretty much it just extracts, like, a GMA file into its actually designated file. So, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to locate over to your add-ons folder. This can be anywhere, I, wherever you've saved Gary's mod. It's usually in that, um, in that hard drive or that SSD. Go in there and find it. Now, if you're not part of Werewolf Gaming, it still works, um, but you just need to find out a different file. So, we are going to be using the base, cl um, the base clone model, because we are playing Star Wars, of course. Um, and what you want to do is you want to find the file, uh, which has all the models and all the textures and stuff like that. And you want to get, uh, you want to click on that, you want to drag it, and you want to drop it on the GMAT. Like you are, you know, about to open it. You click on that, and it opens up a little, um, console. It'll go through the console, and it'll shut automatically. And when it shuts automatically, what you want to do is you want to go all the way up and you want to refresh the place. And what happens is if you scroll up again, you'll see that you now have got a file in your uh, add-ons file. You don't need to do anything with this file. You can leave it in there. You don't need to touch it. Um, but what I want you to do is I want you to open the file and um, you're going to be seeing Lua materials and models. Uh, you can look through the Lua and you can look through the models if you really want to. Uh, but all you need to do is go to materials, go to smitty, or as it, in this case it is smitty, and then you're going to be sh seeing shared, captain, commander, lieutenant, mage, and sergeant, um, and also trooper as well. Uh, so if you go, for instance, into trooper, you'll see a VT, uh, VMT and a VTF. Now, you don't want to touch the VMTs. The VMTs are just a bunch of other stuff which you don't need to worry about. But the VTF is what you want to go with. So you're going to need to get an add-on, um, well, a download thing. Uh, which is called VTF Editor. That will be linked in the description along with GMAD. Uh, what you want to do is you want to download that, and then whenever you try to open one of these files, you just want to click on it, and it will come up with what you want to open this in. Just do VTF Editor, and something like this will come up. As you can see, it doesn't look 3D as maybe the model will. That's just due to it being a 2D image, um, which is pasted on the 3D model. But you don't need to worry too much about that. All you need to worry about is that you've got something like this. This is the body. You can also have the head as well. I'll show you the head right now if we can find it. Here is the helmet. So as you can see, there's the helmet. It's spread out on the 2D image. Don't need to worry about it. What you want to do is you want to go to File and then Export. And you want to export the file. And then what you're going to see is you're going to see it says the name of what it is and then the, the file type. You want to click on the file type and change it to a JPEG image. Now, a JPEG image is just lo lower in size. It's better to be used on um, editing softwares, and also it's better for G Gary's mod as well, because if you go onto a server, it doesn't lag as much, and it doesn't cause as many issues as it would if it was a larger file like a PNG. So what you want to do is all you want to go and do is save it into your pictures or save it anywhere, and just press save. I already have mine saved, so I'm not going to save it. But what will happen is you will go to something kind of like this. You'll get this. It'll literally just be an image just like this. You can open it. You can look at it. You can edit it any way you want. I'm going to be using a photo editing software, though, um, which is called Pixlr. It's free. It's online. You can use it. It's an amazing tool. I would always suggest using Pixlr E because it has more things to do with it. So what you want to do is you'll just want to open it. Go to, for instance, you can just go to File, Open Image, and then you can find um, what things go to this uh mine's in a pack a video pack and then you just open that and then it just opens normally right so what you want to do is you can easily just start editing already um i mean go away go enjoy it but what i would always say to anyone who is aspiring to try and learn pack is learn out where things go so what i would say is go onto the brush tool and easily just leave a few marks leave a few marks on just uh random parts of the uh helmet Literally just pick random colors and just start like marking like certain areas you may want to be interested in like texturing. So for instance, we're just going to pick out black um, and we are going to maybe color this bit here. Um, and then 
You could also do as well where you just uh, get the wand tool and then you select a, a whole area. You go to adjustments, you go to color lookup, and then you can easily just change the color. So for instance, let's say I want to make it like this. Apply, and it makes me look even cooler. So we've edited it. We've uh, changed the things up. We've done all of that. You can do this in uh, Photoshop as well if you do have it or any other photo editing software. Um, but as you can see, just very basic, very fundamental. You've changed the colors of the head top bit and a bunch of other bits on the helmet. So what do you do now? Well, you first off, you need to save it. Always keep it as a JPEG, uh, as a JPEG image. You, you can, do, you can you know, kind of choose on the quality you want. I would always just keep it as the same, keep it as the same width and height as well. Do not change any of that. And then what you want to do is you want to press download. You're going to download the image. Very simple, very easy. And now you're going to need to use one more piece of equipment and that is a dropbox so if you don't have dropbox literally just set one up it's so easy it's free you can use it don't use the business one it's not worth it just use a normal base one and then what you want to do is you want to drag and drop the file so for instance it's just on the bottom of my screen i can drag and i can drop it into the file and as you can see here it is now in dropbox so what you want to do now from this point is go to share and then it'll come up with create a link. You want to create a link and then you want to copy that link. And now that you have the link to the Dropbox. And now we are going to be going over to Gary's mod and I'm going to be showing you how to import the texture onto your model. So this is now the bit which we are all waiting for. This is actually putting the texture onto the model. Now, as you can see here, I've got a blank texture here. It is literally just um, a CT captain model. Um, what you can do pretty simply is this will be in the description below as a paste bin. Literally just copy the paste bin. Literally, all you need to do is just go to load, um, literally right click, load, and then load from URL. You'll put the paste bin in there and it will come up with something like this. Um, if you want to change the model, say like you're not CT, but you are, I know, a CE or you're shock troop or something like that. All you need to do is just go to model, press these three little dots, and then all you need to do is type in what your model could be. So you could be 501st, for instance. Um, it will come up with all the 501st models. All you need to do is select it. And then all you, and then from that point, um, it will just come up with this. Uh, but some things might be a little bit odd. So for instance, you might not have the white bit cover, colored all over. You just go down over to the submaterials on the left-hand side at the bottom. And then you're just going to see specialist, heavy, um, helmet, and body, right? We'll just extend this a little bit so you can see it fully. All you need to do is just put the corresponding name with this bit. So, for instance, body, you line up with body, helmet, heavy, and karma. Um, that's all you would do. Very simple, very basic. Make sure it's capitalized as well. It's, capital, it's cap, um, capitalized sensitive. Please make sure you do it. But what you do from this point forward is once you've sorted out the model like this and it's all done and fresh... All you need to do is go down to the material section on the top left hand side. Press helmet because we've got our helmet. And then scroll down until the third point which is base texture. You click the base texture and you click on this. You then control V, um, the Dropbox link you should have copied. And then you need to change that zero to a one. You can keep the, z you can keep the, uh, the zero, um, but I like keeping it as a one because it, it just makes it a lot more easier. And also there can be some issues uh, cross server platform. But once you've done that, it should come up with something like this. And as you can see, our textures are actually on the model. So for instance, you can see our, our mark there, our mark there, our top bit, our cranium. Um, you can see a side cheek and also the front bit as well. Very good, very easy, very basic. And you could do that with your entire model. So as you can see, I've just done it very basic. It's very easy. Um, it's nothing, you know, too extravagant. I, I, I will grant that some of this looks very messy, but of course you can go away and you can go have so much fun as you want. It takes time to learn and master, but once you learn how to make a pack, it becomes so easy and you can make such amazing designs. There's going to be some designs um, up on screen, which I've made in the past, um, from arc model customizations to either first customizations to many other things as well. But if this video did help you out and you do like it, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. Maybe that like button as well. It means a great, great, great deal. And if you want to see more, ask me any questions or just want to know more about Pack or even just watch more of me. Uh, go into the description. You'll be finding my Instagram and Twitch. I stream almost every single day on Twitch. We play League to Gary's Mod to everything you can imagine. But anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. And until next time, guys, peace out. Bam.